One of the things that intrigues me about the music business is that a good song, a great song, if it was a great song to begin with, it'll always be around. I mean, every generation or so will rediscover it. And uh, this was brought home to me very much last year with a very old song that came back and was a big, a big hit all over again. And yet, it must be around 100 years old, I reckon. In fact, the first time I ever heard of the song, my grandfather told me about it. And my granddad was a very interesting man and had a lot of unusual jobs because uh, he lived almost in the centre of Melbourne and yet at one time he was a, a horse trainer. You know, he trained trotters and paces and things. I suppose, like all of our family, he, he loved animals and that's probably the reason he chose that sort of job. And another time he worked on an old steamboat that used to go from Geelong to Melbourne on Port Phillip Bay, also carrying horses and cattle. I suppose that was back in the days before they had semi-trailers to do the same thing. And then in his later life he, got, he, he was a caretaker in a lot of those beautiful old buildings in Melbourne. And it was a job he enjoyed also. And when he finally retired, he was such an active man that rather than not work at all, he got a part-time job at a little cemetery on the outskirts of Melbourne. And his job there was also a caretaking job, but it was a little different because it was outdoors and he really enjoyed it. And it was sort of, uh, you know, he used to have to rake up the leaves around the graves and keep the lawns mowed and generally keep the place looking neat and tidy. And he was a bit of a character too. I remember him saying to me one day, he said, you know, John, here it is at my age. I've got no qualifications and, and yet I'm doing a job with about 50 blokes under me. Dear old granddad. And he was telling me about this song. He said there was one little grave right up the back of the graveyard, up near the fence underneath an old peppercorn tree. He said and every time he got up that side, of the, up that end of the, uh, the place, he, it was always neat and tidy. There was never any leaves. It was always, the lawn was mowed. And there were always fresh flowers the end of the grave and yet granddad had never seen anybody up there doing his job for him so one week he changed his routine and, and went up there on a different day and as he walked up the path you could see this old white-haired man kneeling down beside the grave and as granddad got close to him he thought thought he could hear him talking but as he got closer still he realized that the old man was singing he had his head bowed this is the song he sang. I wandered today to the hill and I to watch the scene below. The creek and the creek and old men Maggie as we used to long, long ago. The green grove is gone from the hills, Maggie, where first the daisies grow. The creaking old mill is still Since you and I were young Oh, they say that I'm feeble with age Maggie, my steps are much slower than then My face is a well-written page and time all alone was the end. They say we have outlived our time, Maggie, as they did as songs that we've sung. But to me, you're a spirit. And I were young They say we have outlived our time Maggie, as dated as songs that we've sung But to me, you're a spirit When you 
Dar 